Hello folks, a very warm welcome to another video here in the Microsoft Sim. We are, well, we find ourselves in a paddock. Um, apparently this is, this is an airport somewhere in Tennessee, over there in the good old US of A, folks. Anyway, <laughs> looks like a paddock to me. Folks, this will be a first impressions style look at an aircraft that has received a lot of first impressions videos, hasn't it? It's been out for a while. This is the Milviz, uh, well, well, formerly Milviz, now Blackbird Simulations Cessna 310R. Uh, very well received into the community when it was released all that time ago. Um, I'm aware of a of an update that's pending to it. What you're going to see today is the current released version, not the beta. Uh, I don't actually have access to the beta. The folks over there at Milviz, uh, sorry, Blackbird, this is going to get confusing, um, haven't, uh, haven't yet granted me access to the forum where apparently there is a copy of the beta um, awaiting those with access to the forum. <laughs> so hopefully uh, those folks can one day give me access to that forum. Although, at the same time, doesn't really matter folks i've got everything open here hey eh? it's in tennessee it's in uh it's in the northern summer it's probably a bit warm it's been a bit warm in different parts of the world hasn't it holy shit heat waves galore climate change they call that <clears throat> funny that anyway this aircraft um i've flown it about five hours uh to this point something like that um, and enjoyed every one of those five hours, I must say. Really enjoyed it. It's an aircraft that I, I was looking forward to prior to its release back in the day. Um, and then sort of didn't pick it up because I had the, the other Cessna twin, the, uh, the Chancellor from Fly Sim Wear. Um, and that's featured in a few videos of mine. Great aircraft, that one. This one's a different aircraft. It's a Cessna, it's a twin. It flies, it's got wings. It'll take you places. Um, but it's quite a different, quite a different beast, different mission profile, I think you'd say. Uh, but yeah, really enjoy it. So you're going to get a first impressions um, look at it from me months after it was released, <laughs> months after there's any interest in a first impressions, perhaps. I don't know. I picked it up the other day because it was on sale. That's the reason I got it. 40% off a flash sale. Whenever I see a potential flash happening on the internet, hey, I'm there. Well, for different reasons normally, but anyway, on this particular occasion, it was like 40% off, which represents, I reckon, pretty good value. So, I've picked it up. We're going to go flying. Jude, myself, and, uh, well, quite a few of our mates, hey. Let me go inside for you, folks. Jude, how are you? And all your, oh, Jesus. Is this your family, Jude? She seems a bit out of place. Perhaps they're married or dating. They don't really look... Well, I could say they don't look married, but they're kind of not paying attention to each other, so perhaps they are married. Is this your old man, Jude? He looks pretty unhappy with who he's sitting behind, so that's probably your old man. And who's this bloke? Is this your is this your brother or your dealer? I'm not quite sure. Bend something. Bend over. I don't know. Jude, we're going to go flying, aren't we? Folks, welcome aboard. As I said, first impressions look. We've got a little FS economy run for you today in Tennessee. 70 odd miles, something like that. I'll get it fired up. We'll go flying. So before we get going, let me just explore this tablet. I'm still kind of learning it, getting to grips with it. Loving what I'm seeing. It's, it is quite impressive, right? And I know there's lots of other videos where uh, you can find out all about this tablet in some detail. I'm going to skip through it really quickly. Uh, I just call attention to it because the impression, the first impression I have of it, is a very positive one. And first impression videos, that's what they are for me. It's all about what gets my attention. And the tablet in this aircraft certainly does. Uh, fantastic. You can configure all sorts of stuff. Packs and baggage and your doors and attachments and everything animates and it's all really cool. And all of it is saved for the next flight as well. I like that sort of continuity of oh, that is provided by the save states thing passion to comfort index uh it's dropping it's probably a little bit warm here in tennessee once we get things fired up and get some of the uh some air flowing bit of aircon happening hopefully that um that will come up 
Um, all of your services, can, you can configure fuel here. This is being set by the FS Economy client. Um, I love this bit, the wash and detail. I've got my aircraft quite dirty because it's me and Jude and dirty aircraft kind of suits, doesn't it? I mean, it's dirty, right? In fact, let me... So take that mental screenshot for you, folks. <laughs> As I come back inside, let's go to really dirty. How dirty can we get? And go back outside for you. That is filthy. I love it. Look at that. Wash me. <laughs> love it. I hadn't seen that before. Oh, look at that. We'll go. We'll fly. We'll fly completely dirty, Jude. What's happened to the packs? And what's going on here? I could have sworn there was a bloke sitting here. Who's this, Jude? Where have you found these birds from? Are these are these your girls? Is this your your crew? Your posse? What's happening here, Jude? <laughs> The characters have changed. I didn't notice that before. It's a coffee cup. One of you buggers is a litter bug. Hey? That, that looks serious. This this one, she's sort of smirking. She wants to bust out. She wants to bust out. I think her uh, yeah, her bra might want to bust out too. Look at that. That's just... That's quite revealing, isn't it? It's hinting. Giving a bit of a tease, this one. She seems completely disinterested. Um... And perhaps she's had some work done in more ways than one, folks. I'll just leave it at that. This one just looks absolutely terrified. And this one, that is... That's like the bloody Mona Lisa. She follows you around. That is... Oh, Jesus. I've never noticed that the... Um, <laughs> the packs change. So the difference between... So I didn't have the FS Economy client fired up when I did that previous segment. And then I fired the FS Economy client, and it's changed the characters. That's interesting. Anyway, um, we're going to fly totally dirty. Come back in here. Options. Um, lots of good stuff. I'm actually flying with the PMS, not the TDS. But if I click that, it seems to just default to that. I don't know what's going on. I'm actually flying with two of them. This is a mod that you can get from the uh, .to, and I will link to that in the description. Um, but it has the effect of thinking that it's got the TDS. It's not what I'm running. Initial state, I've got own, so this is my aircraft. Um, I like this stuff. You can choose whether to show the user reg or not. I've chosen to hide it. Um, realism options, you can make this. This is a simulator. You can simulate it the way you want. I love that. I love that you have the choice. Failures, you can make stuff happen. I've got mine on never. I want reliability <laughs> at the moment. And then all of the stuff that you can do. And uh, it'll show you the status of this aircraft. So I've flown it for about five hours. So it's showing that some stuff's been happening. There's some wear happening. Uh, I topped up the oil after the last flight. I saw a really big drop in the oil uh, quantity. So I topped that up after the last one, but I've, t I've left the other ones except for the spark plugs. There was some serious fouling happening on the right engine. Uh, I, t I put that down to the way I'm flying. I need to get my mixture right. But uh, everything else is showing some wear. I love it. And you can overhaul stuff. And yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic. Really love this tablet. Um, you bring something like that. You do have a tablet in the Cessna 414, and I don't want this to be a comparison, but it's naturally going to be a little bit like that because I've got both aircraft, and I've spent a bit of time in the Cessna 414. The Cessna 414 has a tablet. It's pretty good. But um, I think this and what's behind it, you know, the state saving and all of the wear and tear stuff, you bring that into the Cessna 414, holy shit. Next level. I mean, I love what Milvis have done here. Oh, sorry, Blackbird Milvis. Interchangeable, folks. Um, I love what they've done because they're going to push other developers to do the same. Um, it's yeah, fantastic aeroplane, fantastic aeroplane. Anyway, folks, I'll get us started. We'll um, manufacture a runway of some sort here. We'll find some short grass, which looks like it's over there, and we'll go flying. Right, so I've got no idea that where there's an actual runway, although there's a runway at an airport <laughs> over here towards the uh, the northwest. But I don't know what the orientation of the runway here is at wherever we are. 05TN, whatever airport that is, folks. The usual level of preparation has been done. Anyway, folks, let's get moving, hey? Oh, Thurman Glen Field. Thurman Glen. Jeez, isn't that a southern name? Th 
Thurman Glenn. He might be some really respected southern gentleman who did wonderful things for the country. I had no idea. Thurman Glenn Field and we're going to Benton County by the looks of it. Should we do it folks? Let's do it. The sounds on this aeroplane are fantastic. They are quite loud. So if my uh, dulcet tones get drowned out, that would explain it. I'll just bring that juice in, we'll go full power here. Oh, oh, oh beautiful. Listen to them. This bit alive now, 350. Very light breeze here. We'll get airborne at some point here. A little bit of friction coming through the long grass. There we go. We'll start to rotate around about there. We'll get airborne. Positive rate and all that stuff. Climbing away, looking for that uh, blue line speed initially. Retrimming for that. She feels she feels alive. This bird. You feel like you're actually flying. There's no it, there's no that feeling of rails. You know that some people talk about. The flight dynamics, look, I, I have watched a few videos um, when this one got released and people have different views on the flight dynamics and I can't speak with any authority on those dynamics, never having flown a Cessna 310, I, it was on the bucket list, it was on the bucket list, I remember um, back in the, uh, the old flight school days, there was a 310 just sort of adjacent to where I did most of my early flying. And I remember showing up for every lesson, just glancing across. Never seemed to move. Never seemed to actually go anywhere, the 310. But it looked shit hot. <laughs> it looked like it wanted to fly. And I remember asking uh, one of my instructors at the time, when, go, when do I get to fly that, mate? <laughs> and he said, you'll need to uh, make a bit more money to afford that one, mate. And it's not, it's not available for hire. That's the, uh, I think it might have been the, the sort of the owner of, the, of that particular flying school. It might have been his, his pride and joy. It never seemed to go anywhere. That's perhaps why it looked so pristine. Um, yeah, very different uh, instrument panel on it than what this one has here. Very old school it was. But, uh, here in the sim we have the beautiful GTN 750s. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the PMS version of same not the TDS, but dual GTNs, pretty nice, pretty nice bit of kit. Might get Georgie to do a bit of flying, we're going to cruise at five and a half, so we're going to go up BFR, really should have done something around about transponderish, hey, should have done something, there's the map, 70 odd miles, we're all good, currently in sort of roll mode, so what we can do is bring our heading bug around, and just slowly, we're almost intercepting the magenta, we'll probably just go straight to nav mode, Georgie. What do you reckon? Yeah, we'll do that, mate. No worries, champ. Nice left-hand bank. When you're ready, my friend. Got the power set. I'm leaning that, leaning that mixture out shortly. Gives you, gives you something to do. This aeroplane. Good old school sort of, you know, flying a piston aeroplane. I mentioned earlier, sort of um, different mission profile to the Cessna 414. I'll give you something to look at. That's Tennessee, folks. I don't think I've ever been to Tennessee in the virtual sense and certainly haven't been here in real life. But there she is. Tennessee, beautiful day here. Beautiful day for a flight. Yeah, mission profiles. This one will keep you down right below the flight levels. Good VFR type flying at a reasonable clip. Right? And I, I find it quite a quite a nice bird to do VFR flying. Like this is not too bad. Yeah, you've got a dirty big engine there. Literally dirty. Um, you know, and some people, some people have commented on previous videos about the, the visibility of certain aircrafts, and it does matter if you if you're into the, the low and slow stuff, your VFR flying, then visibility does matter. Um, I find this one quite nice. You don't have that that blockage in the centre here, nice wide windscreen, and in the cruise, we're currently climbing at about 500 feet a minute. But when she's in cruise sort of attitude, nice view out the front. I think it's a nice view out the left hand side as well. Very nice. And you get along at a decent clip. 100 and, oh, what are you, Taz about 170, something like that. Yeah. So we've got 66 miles to go till we get to uh, Benton County Airport. Um, it won't take us too long, less than half an hour's flying time. We'll get some more virtual coin into the FS Economy Bank account. 
just a beautiful day. Fantastic. Folks, I'll rejoin you in the cruise, talk a little bit more about what has stood out for me about this aeroplane, and then we'll do an approach segment, and job done. Yeah, so settle nice in the cruise, five and a half thousand feet. We're getting along the ground at just under 180 knots, like crosswind from the uh, from the southeast at this time. Yeah, see, so I think the visibility is fantastic. Look at that, the great expanse of Tennessee, folks. What else can I say about this aeroplane? There's a there's a lot I like. There's there's nothing at all that I don't like. Like I'm really enjoying it. Um, should we just check on the condition? Of our of our packs, do we still have everyone? Have they changed forms? No, there's still those vacant stairs. Um, are they comfortable? We can check that in the tablet, can't we? The cabin is comfortable, but cooling slowly. Mm, all right. So should I should I up the temp a little bit? I want it to be comfortable and steady, hey? Just like my packs. You don't get any steadier than that, folks. I've just noticed she's got the belly button piercing. We should we should explore we should explore our passengers' lives in a future video, I reckon. I just I might need to get rid of this one though. She's freaking me out. That's intimidation. The lipstick alone is a bit full on, a bit much. I want to explore the life of this person. <laughs> Maybe this one as well. You I'm gonna leave and you I'm just gonna throw out. <laughs> and Jude of course, you remain. My love, my sweet. Um, yeah, there isn't, there really isn't much to uh, to complain about at all. Um, it's just a, a great aircraft. Uh, visually, it's fantastic. I, I love the way that the VC is done. Um, flies well, performance-wise, in terms of you know frames and all that sort of stuff. There's no issue that I've that I've noticed. Um, the exterior stuff, you know, with being able to control the the level of dirt, it's fantastic. Plenty of liveries available on the .TO um, as well. Nice looking machine with the uh, with the ox tanks here at the end as well. It's got decent range, doesn't it? There'll be others uh, that can tell you exactly what that what that range is. Yeah, and with a with a beta version to come, um, which addresses some issues. I'm guessing. I don't know much about it. Um, really haven't been paying attention. But um, so it makes a, a good aircraft even better. The only thing that is a little bit, and I won't say it's bad, it's not negative, it's challenging. It's challenging to land this aeroplane, right? You, you kind of, you, you, there's a technique. There's a technique to landing any aeroplane, folks, right? But um, this one ha is, is a little bit more challenging than perhaps you know, like the Cessna 414 for mine. It's it's a doddle to land most of the time. Um, this one requires a little bit of precision um, and you've got to carry a bit of speed, right? You don't want to be cutting the power on this thing because she uh, she loves to sink. <laughs> it's like a bloody, it's like a bloody magnet, right? You chop the power and she just wants to drop. And she's got a very stiff gear as well. So it's, it's quite a firm what a firm touchdown so we'll see how we go I won't do a particularly good job of landing it but um, I think that's probably something that's going to be addressed in the beta is it those sort of that aspect of it I'm guessing I don't know folks first impressions it's not a review <laughs> I'll see you for the approach into Benton County Tennessee all right, the uh, the final stages of the flight, folks. We'll give uh, Georgie a rest at this time. We'll uh, we'll fly it manually from here. Looking for an airstrip at around about an 11 o'clock position, and I'm guessing it's out here, this one here, Benton County. We'll uh, we'll take flat soonish. Need to keep a fair bit of power in in this aircraft, don't you? Once you get the uh, the flaps out and the boots down, she does uh, she does slow up pretty well. I might take first stage of flap now. Yeah, that'll be the strip at about an 11 o'clock position. And through 1500 with three, just under four miles to run. We're okay in terms of profile. Got our mixture set fully rich. We're into the wide arc. We'll take gear as we turn final. Runway 04, Benton County. There we go. And we'll take gear as we turn final. Well, 
also take second stage of flat. Then we start to slow down. So we've got to bring some power in. I want to maintain that blue line speed for a bit. Looks like we're on profile, I think. We've got to avoid these power lines. <laughs> Here on the approach. Just currently going under the nose now. Keep that blue line speed, bring that power in. Slow retrim. You don't expect wonders here, folks. I've, I've landed it probably half a dozen times. It's a miracle that the gear hasn't snapped off. And uh, we'll take we'll take full flap here on short fine. We don't want to get too high. Looks like something's weird with the runway orientation here. You see that? Looks like there's two runways. One's overlaid on top of another one. Well, that's weird. They do things different down in the south the US, we're getting a little bit high, keeping that speed up, don't want to get any slower, retrimming, well, this is going to be weird, <laughs> we'll land on the darker strip, how's that, getting a little bit wobbly, we're going to land with a headwind which is always nice, here we go, can we get it on reasonably well, runway 4, Benton County, come off the power slowly, there we go, she's a firm arrival, onto the brakes, no mucking around in the flare. She's a bit jittery on the rollout. I don't know whether that'll come through on the video. I can certainly notice it. Maybe it's just my eyes. Maybe I'm having a stroke. I don't know. Take flaps up as we depart the active towards the left-hand side. We've got some aeroplanes parked over here, so we'll go and keep them company. Folks, that's been a first impressions style look at an aircraft that uh, has received a lot of video treatment here on the YouTube. I'm just adding to it. This video will probably get 50 views and that's perfectly okay. I'm enjoying myself and that's kind of all that matters. I hope you're well wherever you are and that you're enjoying your simming. We will see you in a future video. Bye for now.